This data shows the calculated chemotaxis index values for nematode worms that have been subjected to pretreatment with a therapeutic drug at three levels, level 0, level 1 and level 2. The ultimate aim is to use an analysis of variance to test whether the different levels of treatment have caused a significant difference in the chemotaxis index. And the requirements for an ANOVAR is that the data should be normally distributed and that there should be an equality of variance at the different levels of measurement. And it is the purpose of this video just to test those conditions. However, to test those conditions, the best way of doing it is to run the ANOVAR calculation, which we do from STAT ANOVAR general linear model, and we will fit the general linear model. The response variable is the chemotaxis index, and for the factors, we're testing whether the levels of treatment affect the chemotaxis index. In order to test the normality and equality of variance, it is useful to analyse the residuals. And so to display the residuals, we will look under graphs. We will select standardised residuals. And for the plots, we will request a normality plot to investigate the normality of the data. And to investigate equality of variance, we will select residuals versus fits to show the spreads of residuals at different levels in the results. We could choose to see all four of these plots in one, but sticking with these two specific plots for the moment, we click OK. We will also choose to store the residuals, and we will store the standardised residuals so that we will be able to analyse these at a later stage. OK. And we just run the analysis. Looking at the normality plot first, the normality plot takes the standardised residual of each data point and plots it against its percentage rank position within distribution. The diagonal reference line gives the expected values if the data were to be following an exact normal distribution. And we can see that the experimental data points are fairly closely aligned to this reference line. And it appears that the data is normally distributed, but we can perform a numerical test for this at a later stage. Looking at the plot of residuals versus fits, we see the spread of residuals given at the three treatment levels. And we can see that the spread of residuals is not too different at the three levels. So at this stage, it appears that there is also an equality of variance at the three measurement conditions. In order to test these conditions, we will look at the data and we can see that the analysis has saved the residual values for each of the data points. So we will analyze these residuals. First of all, going by STAT, basic statistics, and we will perform a normality test. We will select the residual variable. We will be able to test for normality using Anderson Darling, Ryan Joyner, or the Kolmogorov Smirnoff test. But sticking with the default Anderson Darling, we click OK. And we see that it has produced the normality plot, which we have already seen. But in addition, it's given us some statistics for the set of residuals and also performed the Anderson-Darling test with a p-value of 0 0.319. And with this p-value, we should not reject the null hypothesis that the data is normally distributed. And we can accept, therefore, for the purposes of running the ANOVAR, that this data is normally distributed. We can also run a separate test for analysis of variances within the ANOVAR menu by going test for equal variances, looking at the initial options, 
Our data values for C index are all in one column for all factor levels, so we will choose the default option. The response is the C index, and we're looking for the different levels of the treatment factor. And then under options, we know that the data is normally distributed, so we can use a test based on the normal distribution. And then we click OK. And then run this analysis. The results will be in the session window, which has used Bartlett's method. And it has produced a p-value of 0.758 which says that we do not reject the null hypothesis that the variances were the same at all levels and we can assume therefore for the purposes of the ANOVAR that we have equality of variance. If we had not opted for the normal distribution option then the, the results would have produced Levine's test and Levine's test would have given us a p-value of 0.853 in any case, uh, giving the same conclusion that we can accept equality of variance. Just out of interest, we could look at the results for the general linear model here, which gives the standard ANOVAR table, which gives a p-value which is less than 0 0.0005 for the treatment factor, which says that we should reject the null hypothesis and we can accept that there is a difference between at least two of these treatment levels. And we can accept the validity of the ANOVAR because we have checked that we can accept that the data is normally distributed and with an equality of variance between the different levels.